Meeting called to order. Council Member Chapman. Here. Council Member Clayton. Here. Council Member Kendall. Here. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Here. Mayor Moore. Here. Please stand for a silent prayer, a moment of reflection. We will now salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. As to comply with the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 2, 231, PL 1975, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in the following manner. The annual notice was forwarded to the Asbury Park Press, the Coaster, and the Star Ledger on January 7, 2021, and posted on the bulletin board the same date. All notices are on file with the city clerk. We are on to the special events applications. The only application before you this evening is for the downtown menorah tree lighting on December 1st from 6 to 7 in Kennedy Park. Any questions? No questions. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Uh -huh. Matters from City Council. Council Member Chapman. Hi. I just want to let everyone know that um, there will be a, a shredding truck here at a uh, municipal building on November 20th from 9 to 1. If anybody has any documents that they need shredded, please bring them at that time. Mm -hmm. Council Member Kendall. Just one, I'm sorry, just two things I want to talk about. Well, one thing I want to really talk about is the love that the city have for the people around the city. Um, the trunk or tree that we had was our second trunk or tree. And um, we had, I would say about 1500 kids and people combined with their family members. I'd like to thank Donna, Lisha, Arlene, Sylvia, Tom, the advisory committee. Now I have a list here that was given to me about, oh, the council, I can't forget the council. But I have a list here with a lot of names on it. But I'm look, I was thinking about this uh, as we was going over some other business. I walked around and I made sure that I told everyone on this list, thank you. So I don't think I'm gonna take, take too much of your time reading these names off. Once again, we had a beautiful affair and I thank you all. Deputy Mayor Quinn. I have nothing. Mayor Moore. The only thing I have, and Donna, correct me if I'm wrong, the Senior Center will be open Monday? It will be. The uh, Senior Center will be open Monday. Fantastic. Thank you. That's it. Matters from the city manager. Nothing, Melody. Matters from the city attorney. And I have nothing at this time either. And I stand corrected. I do have something else. Uh, we're forgetting tomorrow. Tomorrow's Veterans Day. And so it's a very special holiday for everybody in America. Uh, we thank all our veterans, past and present, uh, for serving this country. And it's a special day. So take a couple of minutes tomorrow to thank a veteran. Thank you. We are now on to the public participation portion of the meeting. May I have a motion to open the public comment portion of the meeting with a three-minute three minute time limit for each speaker? Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any members of the public who would like to be heard, please come to the mic, state your name and address for the record, and each speaker will have a three-minute time limit. Uh, my name is Michael Rolls. I'm with the Asbury Park Property Owners Coalition. Uh, Ron Samicini and Charles Bormali, the Executive Director and Attorney for the Asbury Park Property Owners Coalition, could not be here tonight, so they asked me to appear on their behalf on a matter of importance. Over the last five months since it was first announced that the city would convene a rent control board, rent, the rent control environment in Asbury Park has had no hearings as a result of tenants claiming abuse. Because the city has determined to not only convene rent control boards in such cases, the community is being deprived of an important function, dialogue around rent control in Asbury Park. 
In itself, this would not be disturbing. Because absent one or two edits, the final draft of the approved rent control ordinance reflects the community's wishes. Fortified by a five to zero vote at the council level and a 57 to 43 percent feet of a more aggressive version of rent control. But instead of allowing this ordinance to have a fair chance at success, our information is that political forces and administration personnel continue to push for ideological rather than practical approaches to rent control locally. This is unacceptable, and we know that some level of our view is shared because at the last meeting, you verified that the activity taken by the rent control administrator and attorney were pushed back. As Ron expressed in a recent letter that I will provide here with my testimony, testimony it was a relief and the damage was already done. In a situation like this, there should be no back doors, no back rooms. If someone has the courage to suggest that rent control is not working in Hasbury Park, let them do it in public and let it be based on data. Our recent elections show that New Jerseyans have little tolerance for laws that are enacted at great cost and impact without broad benefits. Residents should not tolerate superfluous legislative activity that has no real benefit to the community at large, but creates tax increases and grows government. And as great part, if there are populations not addressed by rent control or as we should be, then let's deal with them directly and not create unnecessary controversy over a law that has already distracted us enough. We implore you to put aside additional dialogue and rent control until this is demonstrated that additional, additional protections are required. Thank you, Mayor and Council, and I apologize. I'm not a good public speaker. <laughs> Mr. Gold, please state your address for the I record. Just, I am from Rutherford, New Jersey, 249 Fairview Avenue. Thank you. And can I submit? Certainly. Um, yeah. Who would like to take it on? Yeah, okay. of course. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yep, whenever you're ready, read. All right. Uh, Rita Morano, 504 8th Avenue, Asbury Park. Uh, <clears throat> I want to talk about Monday night's planning board meeting. That was a total disgrace what happened there. 25 taxpayers, and I counted, there might have been more. That got a real slap in the face from the count, not from the council, but from the planning board. They couldn't even reconsider, even if it was for make believe. And, and that attorney, I mean, I hope in January, if you reappoint people, that you reconsider that one. He was bullying the planning board, actually bullying them for 20 minutes, and nobody could talk in the audience. What kind of a play, what kind of a meeting is that? You know, all those people that were here were voters. You better remember that on election day. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was how come we have no turn on every street in Asbury, no turn on red? That's the number one question. <clears throat> number two, uh, the Jewish Home Families has, uh, one day a week it has, uh, uh, a farmer's market and food, free food. I don't know if any, you never mentioned them, so I thought I'd mention it tonight. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was the resolutions that you, I'd like to know how they work. How do you decide to have a resolution? So far, there's three of them that do, I mean, I can't remember all of them. You have over 400, but three do not work. I mean, how do you follow up? One was the paper bags that we had to use which nobody uses, they're back to plastic. Number two is the, uh, number two. Uh, oh, was the, uh, the planner upstairs that came up with all new rules about parking on the street, no more than two days or whatever, that's not working. And what was the third one? <clears throat> the third one was the one about uh, fossil fuel which I thought that was really out of line because that, that's about all of us, not just the certain few people. You know, I, I like to know how you came to that conclusion about fossil fuel, because it's a very big discussion right now. Uh, inflation, gas is why it's gonna be $4 a gallon soon. All this stuff, and you decide that fossil fuel is, uh, a, an enemy to the climate, I'll, I'll say it that way. 
I mean, like, read the resolution. Oh, the water went up a half an inch in 10 years or whatever. I mean, you that that resolution's got to be looked over. You can't pass. I mean, what do you pass resolution? Who, who decides on the resolution? I like to know who makes that decision. But those are the three things. Well, I mean, it's okay, really, okay, uh, okay. Okay. It's, that planning board meeting. Okay, okay, okay Rita, your time's up, so you can sit down and uh, I'll try to, but there's going to be no cross conversation, so you can sit down and listen. Why? Why? <laughs> because I don't want, <laughs> I don't feel bad you're standing up. Okay, you can stand up. Uh, okay, thank you. It, it, the, the planning board wasn't this, just a correction, it wasn't this Monday, it was two Mondays ago. Again, there are issues you should take up with the planning board. Uh, the no turn on red, and Michael can correct me. You're talking probably talking about Main Street. That's the state highway, and they decided where the no turn on reds go. As far as resolutions, you were mixing resolutions and ordinances together. So uh, as far as the one on um, fossil fuels, I mean, that was something that was thought about, and it was voted on, and you can disagree with us, but that's our feelings. That there is climate change going on, and it should be looked into. And how, how they get on there is like somebody suggests it, and then we decide. And again, if it was on there and it was voted down one to four, it was still a resolution. I so, know, but that's your feelings. It's not everybody's. Okay, but except, right? And that's your ability and your right to disagree with us on it, so, which you did. So I appreciate yeah. that. And then, Don, if you want to answer anything else. You can't live without it. I got news for you. Your cell phone won't even work. I'm not certain, Mayor, what other question there was to answer. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do we have any other speakers? Anybody else wish to be heard? Move to close. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The meeting is now closed to the public. We are on to the minutes. I have the Municipal Council Executive Meeting of October 27th, the Municipal Council Regular Meeting of October 27th. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Second. Roll call, Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We are on to the consent agenda resolutions. All matters listed on the consent agenda are presented collectively to the City Council and will be considered for approval with one vote. These matters are to be considered to be routine in nature. There will be no individual discussions of these items. If discussion is desired by one or more Council Member as to any particular item, then said item shall be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. We have two items on the consent agenda, resolution 2021-472 and resolution 2021-473. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Okay. Roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Or on to individual resolutions. We have individual, we have the Resolution 2021-474, a resolution approving the payment of bills. Move it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? No. Resolution 2021-475, a resolution authorizing the transfer of appropriations in the fiscal year 2021 budget. Move it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2021 476, a resolution amending the purchase of parts needed to repair RBC rotating biological contractor number four at the sewer plant. Move it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2021 477, a resolution awarding a contract to Lucas Brothers Inc. for Bond Street improvements. Move it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2021 478, a resolution authorizing a contract for the disposal of leaves during the fall season. Move it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? 
Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2021-479, a resolution amending a contract with Stavola Asphalt Company for asphalt. Move it. Okay. Roll call. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2021-480, a resolution amending a contract for general code for the 2021 ordinance codification. Move it. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. <clears throat> yes. Resolution 2021-481, a resolution authorizing change order number five for the Deal Lake Drive Improvement Project, resulting in a net reduction of the original contract amount. Move it. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2021-482, a resolution to approve the City of Asbury Park to enter into a shared service agreement with the County of Monmouth to provide the iTaxMath Collaboration Center System ta TaxMac Conversion and Maintenance Services. Do okay. I have a motion? Motion. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2021-483, a resolution entering into shared service agreement for the County of Monmouth for the Mod 4 Property Assessment Computer Services. Move it. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2021-484, a resolution authorizing the mayor and city council to execute a discharge of a mortgage under the Community Development Block Grant Home Buyers Assistance Program. Do I have a motion? Second. Roll call. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2021-485, a resolution to backfill sewer charges on various accounts. Move it. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2021-486, a resolution approving the transfer of property located at Block 3901, Lots 2 and 3, 212 to 214 Second Avenue, from Asbury Partners LLC to Block 3901, QOZF LLC, subject to conditions and pursuant to the amended and reinstated redeveloper and land disposition agreement entered into on October 2nd, 2002, as amended between the City of Asbury Park and Asbury Partners. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Second. Okay. Roll call. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2021-487, a resolution to approve a person-to-person -person liquor license transfer from Asbury Lanes LLC to Asbury 2 Liquor License LLC with a license number of 1303330160 007 with an effective date of November 17th. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Chapman. Yes. Council Member Clayton. Yes. Council Member Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2021-488, a resolution authorizing the sale of a rotating biological contractor, RBC equipment components, and the execution of an agreement between the City of Asbury Park and the Cape May County Municipal Utilities Authority. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Chapman. Yes. Council Member Clayton. Yes. Council Member Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. We are on to adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Second. The meeting is now adjourned.